Stick around to see the cutest little crafts that will definitely bring out your little one's adventurous side. And all of these crafts are inspired by this book. So you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel i am cheryl the activity author and i am here to bring you another special book inspired craft video so if you don't know me hey i'm cheryl and i make easy kids crafts out of household items that are usually inspired by books by self-published authors because you know us independent authors we don't always get enough shine so I feature that and I also create games and activities as well so if you like this kind of content and you rock with me please hit that like button that subscribe button too and hit that notification bell so you know every time that I post okay thank you very much <laughs> all right so now I I am so excited to tell you guys about the book that inspired all of these fun creative crafts that you are about to see today. So today's book is called The Adventures of Super Obi by Dominic Ukanko and illustrated by Morena Natinko. In this book, we see little Obi being tucked in by his mother for the night only to be woken up by some spooky situations. Will we see little Obi face those fears or will he hide under his blanket and let those fears get the best of him? Well, I guess you're going to have to get the book to find out. And guys, I love how this super bedtime story includes some beautiful illustrations, as you can see. And it even includes some bedtime prayers at the end of the book that'll help your children reflect on the concepts of fear and examine what God's word and protection means in their lives. So, now y'all know me long enough to know that I cannot exclude the terrific author who created this masterpiece. Now, Miss Dominique, I am so in awe at how you took real life situations from you and your son, Obina, and you wrote this book about him facing his fears. And I can totally relate to this because your son carries around this yellow blanket that gives him superpowers and my youngest daughter, Malia, does the exact same thing thing this is why i love this book for kids uh it's just so relatable and your kids will definitely see themselves in this character and it'll help them see that if obi can do it i can do it Aside from writing, Dominique is all about spending time with her beautiful family, performing spoken word, and overseeing the youth ministry at her church in her hometown, Miami. <laughs> so guys, please visit my description box below and find out the links where you can get this terrific book. And also continue to follow our terrific author, Miss Dominique, on her journey. Besides from this book, you can go to her website. She has so many packages and bundles that you can receive and you can also follow her on her social medias because I know and I bet you guys want to know when her next book is coming out I know I am because this book is so fun and so terrific and I am enjoying it with my family so guys jump down in that description box right now and find out more about this book and this author so now that I've given you guys a little bit of backstory on our crafts I cannot wait to show you how cute and creative and fun and and easy all of these crafts that I created for you today so without further ado let's get crafty so our first craft idea came from the page where Obi is sure the monster is in his closet so I thought it would be fun to recreate that scene all you're going to need for this craft is some construction paper this is the brand that I love to use and it comes with 50 sheets in this size is about 9 inches by 12 inches and you can find this on Amazon for under five dollars and you're gonna need some pipe cleaners and you're gonna need some scissors and some paint and then optional is googly eyes if you have it so you're gonna start by cutting your pipe cleaner in half and then cutting it in half again to make four pieces so put those to the side once you are done and then use a full-size pipe cleaner put that in half 
twist it this is gonna be our stem for our little stamper we're gonna make a stamper and I decided that that monster that Obi has on his wall is gonna be our inspiration for our monster so what I'm doing is I want to do a texture paint activity with this pipe cleaner make this our stamper and it'll make our monster have a fuzzy look you're gonna see in a second so keep following Now you can create your stamper any way you want but this is just the shape that I want and this is perfect so now I'm going to sketch out a little circle where I want my kids to stay in so this is going to be the parameters and then I'm going to show them dip this in the paint and then dip it in the paper and just try to keep it inside the circle and that is going to be where our monster will be placed on our paper now you can see my kids took at this with no problem. They understood the concept and my daughter's four. Here's Kimberly trying it out. And then my other daughter, Malia, she is two and she can actually do it as well. So this is for ages two and up, I would say. And be sure to tell your kids to just fill up that whole entire circle that you drew out so that the monster can look like this. Malia wanted to stamp in that one spot, <laughs> but that's fine. So we added some googly eyes. We used some construction paper to make the horns of the monster and then added some legs and a smile so what do y'all think does he look like the monster on obi's wall i think so pretty good right so now let's go ahead and make the door grab another sheet of construction paper cut that in half and then all you're going to do is make it the door because it's going to be the same size as the sheet because all the sheets are 9 by 12 so I went ahead and made it look like a door by adding some squares you can add a little pom-pom ball for the handle and then you want to add a little decoration to the door and then that's it so stickers um, anything your child wants to use crayons uh, markers have them decorate the door however they want they can put their name on it um, just be creative. I want to see what you guys come up with, but don't forget now I'm on Instagram So make sure y'all tag me and take pictures so I can see what y'all got Okay, so now all I did was I folded a little side of on the door and I'm putting some glue on that And then I'm just gonna glue it down and our craft is done easy peasy That's how we like to keep it over here on activity author Kimmy? Uh -huh. What is it? It's a monster. It's a monster where? There on the door. What's that say on the door? Oh, it says keep out. Yeah, it does. And then what's inside? Monster. Oh no. So you think this is gonna keep the monsters out of the closet? Yeah. I think so. How adorable was that craft? I just gotta give y'all another monster craft because monsters seem to be a theme that comes up a little bit more in this book. So I have a really cool idea where you guys can make a monster out of a coffee filter that kids two and up can handle. So I don't know if you saw my last video where we use a coffee filters and I showed y'all a cool way to dye them by coloring them. And I showed you guys by adding water and letting it dry. It has this really beautiful color, right? So we're gonna do that same concept here. And then we're gonna take the coffee filter and we are going to turn it into a monster and watch how my two-year-old Malia decorates her monster. Super cute and easy. And you guys can make this monster out of a plate 
or whatever you have in your house. So be creative and definitely don't forget to show me, okay? All right, so I came up with this window monster idea because I kept seeing this beautiful starry window in Obi's room. So I decided let's make that window. So we're gonna take a piece of black construction paper. We're gonna put it over um, some yellow construction paper to make the window frame. We're gonna do that same thing with the pipe cleaner we did in craft number one. But this time we're using white paint to make the stars and see how cute that is, little burst of stars. And encourage your child to just stay on the black paper and overlap them and you'll get a look that looks like this. So now we had an extra coffee filter lying around so I said we're gonna make a monster out of this but we're gonna cut it in half. Now you could fold it in half if you don't want it to be transparent like mine is but either way. So half of the coffee filter decorated like we did here and then you're gonna take the, ac the extra piece of that yellow construction paper that you didn't use you're going to cut a little slither of a strip and you're going to make the horizontal and vertical um, window pane. I, I guess that's what you call it. The wind, you know, the things on the window, <laughs> that's what you're going to make. And you only glue it on the edges. So you see how I'm only putting the glue on the sides. That's it. And that's all you need and it'll stay in place. And it looks like the monster is looking inside of the window trying to get in, but you got to stay out. Mr. Monster can't come in here. <laughs> And I have to be honest with y'all, I love all the crafts in this video, but this is my favorite one because it turned out so cute. Kimmy, hold it up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold it up. I can't see it. Hold it up higher. Ooh. Are you, are you mad at the monster? Yeah. Why are you mad at the monster? He's a friendly monster. Look, he's smiling. He's like, I just want to play. I'm the good monster. My monster, you can't play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'll have to admit that this experimental craft, uh, we're going to do it again and I'm going to let Kimmy make her own because it turned out so awesome. All right. I'm going to give y'all one more craft idea, maybe two if you keep watching, but y'all know we had to make a cape. Of course, that's what Super Obi's about, man. He's a superhero. So your child is going to make a cape that they can hang on their door handle that will discourage any monsters from coming into their room. So all I did was I sketched out what I thought a cape would look like. And if y'all want a template for this, if you can't draw it yourself, go to my website, click the link in my description box below. And there's a template on my website where you guys can just trace it. So then have your child decorate the cape any way they want. And then you're going to have them put this on their door handle to keep the monsters out of their room. All right, so this is just an afterthought, but if you go to my website and you print out the template that I provided and you guys cut it out, you may notice that the hole will probably not fit your handle if you have a circular knob on your child's door. So you might want to make the hole bigger if you have that type of handle. We have a hook handle, so this one fits on perfectly, but just kind of tailor it to whatever door handle you have in your house. bad guys are coming in there right and I think this is just a really cute craft that you can do at a vendor event or a school or a library where kids can just quickly make something to take home with them that same day now one more idea I had was um, I was going to make the sailboat but I realized I did that in a previous video so this sailboat that you see on Obi's wall could easily be created by a craft that I made in this video so check that out there's the link in the description and uh, you can also click the card up top. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making this video. I have tons of other videos on my channel that you guys can indulge and create with your family. I believe this is my 40th book inspired craft video so we got other videos just like this on my channel so definitely make sure y'all check that out make sure you follow me on my social media instagram is where i hang out most of the time activity author is where you're gonna find me so definitely take pictures and tag me on any crafts that you create and also guys don't forget to follow our author of today's book the adventures of super obi all of her information is in the description box below so definitely check that 
out and get the book today. You will not be disappointed. And now make sure you guys continue to have some fun and click on one of these videos to keep the party going. And I will see you in that next video here on my channel. Bye.